What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel for your daily dose of good vibes and video games. And we are finally back playing The Walking Dead. It has been far too long since I've been able to actually sit down and jump back into the story. I miss it so much. Let's just say the last week or so has been less than perfect with moving and all the PC shenanigans that went on. But I'm not really going to go into that right now because I did kind of explain what happened in my recent PC video where I unboxed a custom made PC that I got from Micro Center. So you can check that out if you want to. All I know is that I'm ready to sit down and chill. I feel like I always say that when I'm playing this game, but really how chill have the games been that I've been playing recently? <laughs> I feel like there's been more stress, more jump scares and more sadness <laughs> than like I can count. Anyway, I'm really excited to jump back in. I miss this game so much. It feels like it's been eons since I played this last. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And with all that being said, let's jump back into it. Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. Oh! And AJ pulled the trigger. AJ! AJ decided he was a murderer. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. We pushed him into zombies. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily! Lily. Oh. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. Yes, he opened up to me. We did. Lewis is a great friend. Those are rare. Wait, great friend or? Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until 10 ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off and attempting to save 10, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. I just get bad vibes they from- They got away with three of our friends. Lily. And we had no idea where they'd gone. I like to think people have but redeeming qualities. someone who did. Oh, I can't wait to interrogate the crap out of him. Normally I think that characters have redeeming qualities, but I think, personally, Lily is just bad to the bone. Cute. I like the decor. I like what you've done with the place. Oh. <laughs> it's like even harder watching that knowing like my brother's name is Mitch. So like this hits me even harder. You know what I mean? The start. Fun I was fact. So little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Oh, I thought he was gonna say, but he was my that dick. Was good. Okay. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie. The people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. We're gonna hit him harder. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And he bashed Lily's brains out with a rock. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch. 
and say our goodbyes. I'll help you Get carry. away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Really? Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come Whoa. on, Willie, none of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Free focus. Ten. Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but... I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did. That's right. I'm gonna give him a knuckle sandwich. I'm so tough. Hope he's hungry. Oh, it's Rosie. Interrogate Abel. All right, we can. I will. I plan on it. This should be strong enough to hold him. I mean, yeah. Ooh, sketch pad? Oh, an etch a sketch. That's what that's what we called them. Oh. Brody. Bad memories. Hi, Rosie. Oh. I know you're sad. I know. Oh, can't go there? Okay. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? Slap him, shout at him, let AJ wake him. I don't want to know what AJ would do, but I also want to throw water on him because that'd be fun. I really want to know what AJ would do. Wake him up. No! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> It ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. <laughs> I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> you good, bud? Got any water? Mm, no. Maybe? Drink. Oh. You got good man or squirt? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I will I sick know Rosie where on Lily you. took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. No. He's getting if too I'm comfortable. Smiling, when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you, little shit. We gave him water. Now. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Who's weak now? Oh! That ain't five star. Tell us where they took our friends, or she'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Lily will never give them up. Wow. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. 
You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we <laughs> tell them to. No, you little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. What are you calling turds? That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. Yes. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. <sighs> Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Oh, it's a handled cigarette. Smoke will clear my mind. Oh. Sure. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Let him smoke. Come on, kid. Burn him. Don't make me wait all day. He answered our questions. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> Don't try this at home, AJ. Oh, the sound effects, though. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Are you gonna die? He's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh. wrecked. Get wrecked. Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... You're gonna get your wish. When you push me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. Oh, that just yay! Shit. That makes me feel things inside. I don't want things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to dirt on me, to take control. I couldn't imagine. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. Well, that's all it took. <laughs> let him sweat. I'm you. Man, like seeing where I'm at now in this game, knowing the if things you're that I know, with me, I'll put you out of your misery. Things that I couldn't do at you the beginning no that I can do now, which is not. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. I feel like Clementine would show mercy. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. What would Clem do? I feel like she would mercy kill him. But yeah, so many things I would do differently from the start. Not that. What? I want to let me keep my face. Oh. What, you want me to like cut your face off? Like, it, and put what? You don't have to watch. Watch this. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. You don't to. need to watch this. 
He's going to be like, I want I to. I want to. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, right for the temple? Oh. Leash. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. That's even more graphic with my new computer. This is everything. Come on, we have a boat to find. Exploding brains and uh, high graphics, let's go. Shoot. I don't like that look. I don't think I like that look. Too bad that part's probably gonna get muted or cut out because that is a straight bop. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Hey. Poor Ten. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Aw. Guys, there it is. Kind of nice to see AJ stick up for him, you know? That's where I would live in a zombie apocalypse, if I'm being totally honest. It's kind of cool. Live on an old rusty boat. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. pier. Wood street in the water. Okay, <laughs> let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. I totally forgot he wouldn't really know what that what that was. That's so interesting. Spy on the Raiders. Let's go chat with Willie. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! You could burn these or cut them loose. Burn them or cut them loose. I would, yeah, I would want to steal those. Wait a sec. Oh, I must have gone the wrong way. Oh. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Oh, I thought the other stuff was supply. I thought that was supplies. That's supplies. Yeah, we're going to steal those. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Gonna burn stuff. Okay, let's go talk to Lewis. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. Look for a way into the boat. I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Then there is... I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have... brigs? Boat jails. Maybe. But where? Now that... I... I... I don't know. Yeah, I can't count how many times I got voted to the brig while playing Sea of Thieves with my friends. Yes, I'm very well acquainted with brigs. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. Oh, uh, okay. What do we do now? 
But there's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! Well, that was fast. Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. James. Where is... Oh, there you are. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. How did the horses not get attacked by walkers? Just chilling out there. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. All right, what's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. Well, I'm sure we don't but really need hay. Supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. Yeah. <sighs> we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Will he be willing to sacrifice them, though? That's the question. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. <laughs> what about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Oh! Forget I'm not- I'm- forget I'm playing a game sometimes and not watching a movie. I need to be... engaged. <laughs> okay. A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. Where do you keep captives? The kids your people stole. Have they been hurt? I don't know what you're... I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. No. No. We need them to fight. They're all okay. Clem, stop! Oh. Hey, Minnie. Oh, I was wondering if we were going to see one of the two that they stole. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... Oh. She died. Tan's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. 
His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. Ooh. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. Yeah. And how come so many people are dead? You know, Minnie, you sound an awful lot like one of them. That's really close to the speech Lily gave me in the woods. It's the truth. Minerva? Where's Sophie? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? Got you, Minerva! Shit. So they're happy? Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Don't do it. Yes, ma'am. I don't know. I still don't trust Lily. She could have brainwashed them for all we know. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Why? Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Whoa. I can't believe she, like, went with them? That's not what it sounded like. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. He still wants to fight? Okay. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough, oh. both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. Go find our good buddy James. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Forgot he was shot. Oh. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. Hey. I, I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. Sometimes staying focused on what I'm doing helps me forget when I'm angry. Just, uh, think about saving our friends or- Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Right now it's just different. I can't make my brain switch to thinking about that. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But 
He just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. Uh, it's that... weird that people are so different. He's really immature. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. Such a deep conversation. I, like I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. You sock it in the... No. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure. Friends. But those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. That was a fascinating conversation. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Hey, Hiya. I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. <laughs> Am not. <laughs> She's like... Fine. He's my second. 14? 16? God, if that's old, sh I don't want to know. Shh. Shut up, AJ. <laughs> Actually, after meeting James, I feel like if I were Clem, I'd just be walking around with a mask on myself. I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I feel like this is not going to be easy. Oh, we gotta stun the walkers? Ah, oh, shh. Ay, ay, ay! Ay, ay, ay! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I hate this. I hate this noise. I hate this noise. Oh, this is awful. This is absolutely freaking terrifying. First time. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know how long I can keep this up? Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have. There. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> we have to run. Go. Hey, over here. Aj. 
No, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Sorry, headphone users, by the way. My bad. Now break your leg. Now <laughs> break your leg. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. Heck yeah, I did. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. James, you're the best. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. safe. Just a little further. Go we'll see if there's any collectibles around here first. Large open spaces, there's gotta be some good. Nothing. Can't even talk to AJ, what's all that about? Well, that's not safe. Look at power pole. Hmm, must have had electricity here once. I knew it. Knew it. A beatnik. Beatnik. <laughs> One of the disco broccoli's chime talking friends. <laughs> I love it. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. And we know what they were collecting. He treats them like friends, but then do you lock your friends in barns? I don't. Maybe sometimes you want to, but. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange. But that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Being Part of us is still in there. With a very specific appetite. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead. Not alive. Well, you can't prove that, James. Look, I've heard some weird things, but walkers having a soul? 
Like I said, I know how it sounds. They're like walking, what do they call that? Purgatory? Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Yep. Clem's friend. Lee. She let him. I'm sorry. I would do things do you way really different. Think now. There's nothing left of who he was. Probably at the time that's why I couldn't do it. Think looking back on it in retrospect. Maybe. I guess it's kind of nice to think that the something that made Lee Lee is still out there, even if it's not the way he was before. I think so too. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. That's not the words I would describe help, them. I need you to try and walk with them. His perspective is so if you interesting. Really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will. Wouldn't they smell her, though? Or does the mask... Mask it? No guts? Definitely the prefer the mask route. Is never go alone. Yeah. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle. Oh. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Touch the wind chimes. Oh my god, her hearing her breathing is making me anxious. Oh, what's up, Jim? Hey, Bill, how's it going? Just going home? Today. Oh, is that Jeff Page? <laughs> Jeff, don't touch me, Jeff. Thanks, Barb. Barb went and slapped Jeff for me. That's right. Listen to Barb. Okay. Oh, hey, Tim. Yeah, yep. Je watch out for Jeff back there, Tim. He's he's trouble. He's trouble. Okay. I'm just gonna reach. Hey, buddy. Hey. Two words, buddy. Tick tack. <laughs> they like music. This is so wholesome. This is oddly touching. Oh, you know what? We have something in common. This has moved something within me.
Hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So... Do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace... Any different? At all? No, it's kind of cute. I... I think you might be right. About there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. Oof. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Violet. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Never thought it'd come to this and we'd be friends with walkers. Be free! I'm actually sad about this. What? Come when you said there might be people inside walkers, did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. <sighs> it sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. Nobody knows. Alright guys, that's where I'm gonna stop this episode here for now. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. It's so nice to get back into The Walking Dead after what feels like an eternity but has only been a week. I can already guess that most likely the next recording will be the battle between their community and our community and going to find our friends and breaking them free. Really excited to keep recording this right now, so I'm gonna go do that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and for liking the video and definitely make sure to do both if you guys are really enjoying the Walking Dead content. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.